Hi, let's learn a little bit about the voltage drop across of a LED diode. We have different kind of LEDs. From displays to the normal lamps we know in different shapes. Also, optocouplers and solid state relays, they have a LED inside. And this other device, it has one LED in one side and probably a photodiode or photo phototransistor in the other side. The one who will decide about the LED color will not be the package or the colorant in the package. It will be the material that it is, is inside of the LED. Let's watch the next part of the video and let's learn about it. For the following test, I'm going to use 5 volts power supply, a volt meter. I'm using different kind of uh, LEDs, different colors, and also I'm setting it in different configuration. This is a serial LED and this is parallel. Let's learn a little bit about it. The most important thing we need to know is the forward voltage, the voltage that drops on the LED when we polarize it on the right way typically is for the normal regular LEDs minimum 1.7 typical 2 volts maximum 2.2 2.4 some LEDs like the blue one will be 2.8 minimum 3.2 average the typical 3.5 volts the maximum voltage drop across of it I don't have here the white color and the white is typical 3.5 and maximum 4 volts now let's watch a little bit as I said 1.7 is the minimum for the regular ones for the green I have 1.8 for the red 1.77 and for the orange 1.78 I'm using a very low resistance uh, 1 kilo ohm is it will give me less than 5 milliamperes like 3 something uh, to each one of them and it's enough to light the LED if you want if you're going to use a bright LED you have to use something between 10 milliamperes, 15 or 20. If you only want to make the presence act telling I'm here as a pilot light, you can use 5 milliamperes. In most of my designs, I like to use very high uh, resistors because I want to drop the minimum current I can from the power supply. As I said in the beginning, the color of the plastic, the ink for it, it doesn't matter in the color. The one who decides which color is it is the material that is in the LED. I have here the blue one and for the blue one we are expecting something between 2.8 minimum, 3.2 typical and 3.5 maximum. I'm under it because I'm using very low resistance and as you can watch it's very powerful, it's powerful, powerful enough. Here I have the green one. one 1.8 Uh, very bright one the red that's another kind from the same factory 1.79 the yellow or orange 1.79 1.9 and 
let's forget about the 91, 1.8 is enough. For the last one, I'm not going to make the test now, I will leave you for the end, I want to talk about it. For this one, I have two colors, red in one side, green in the other. Supposedly, if I apply power to both, we are going to get an orange. I need independent uh, sources or independent resistors for it because if I apply the same power to both, only the red one is on and the green is off. The reason, I will tell you why. There are two independent diodes. One of them has a lower voltage drop than the other. In that case, the red is the one who makes the job. And because the green one has a higher voltage drop, voltage drop, uh, it will just sit to watch the other one. It looks like some municipal workers on the street in some countries I have been around. Let's pay attention to this parallel circuit. These two guys, they are brothers, they are twins from the same factory, same design, probably the same production line. And this is from another brand, I put it as a different one. As you can watch here, this guy lights more than the others. The reason? Because it has lower voltage drop and the current goes across of it. Remember the current will go to the closer path to the ground and they offer more resistance. That means this guy is doing the job and the other ones they just sit to wash around. When we make designs in diodes, one of the common mistakes I saw around is to place diodes in parallel. Don't do that. If you're going to place them in parallel, you will need a resistor as a coupling to make a compensation of the difference of voltage of each one of them. Other ways, one was going to work and the other guys, they are going to sit to watch it to work. What we have to do with multiple diodes, try to make a serial, and in a serial, they are going to light all of them the same. One more thing about diodes. If you are going to use a system switching on and off, remember most of them, the recovery time is three, miles, three microseconds. So switching on and off, do it in the order of milliseconds and do not use the microseconds for them. Another very important thing, most of the diodes, I recommend to use low currents for them. The first diode is 50 something years old, already didn't burn. If you go from 20 milliampers, it's very good current to light enough the diode to 40 uh, milliampers, probably your diode is going to die soon. So keep it alive, use low currents. If you want to use the diode as a light, go for the 20 milliampers if you are going to use it just as a pilot uh, indicator you can go for the uh, 5 milliampers to 10 milliampers most less diodes uh, they have a reverse uh, voltage very low 4 to 5 volts some of them so if you're going to use them in a power supply that is changing the polarity like ac or something alike don't use them as rectifier. You must put a regular rectifier on it, a silicon diode. And this silicon diode is going to give you about a, a 60 volts reverse voltage or 100, uh, 400, 800, 1000, whatever you are using on it, and it will protect the LED uh, diodes. For my last test, I have an invisible diode, the infrared. If we pay attention, we'll see a little light flashing there. I cannot see it with my eyes, but probably you can see it 
with your smartphone or any other camera because they are able to catch the infrared light. Can you see the flashing? The infrared diode has a typical voltage drop of 1 volt. There is a lot to learn about LED diodes. In the past, we used them as a pilot light to tell us if something was on or off. Nowadays, technology, we have LED for lighting in house, buildings, streets, and to light in vehicles and cars. There is a very good market for designing engineers for LED uh, power supplies and LED lighting itself. Get some books, get uh, some extra information and join us in the new technology for lighting. Thanks by watching.